this is Gina. Today I'm going to show you how to make two variations of tiny stackable bracelets is what I'm going to call them. These are dainty little guys and they're really cute and they work really well to be stacked together. I'm going to show you two different types of clasping you can do and discuss even other alternatives for that. So in this one I used a little like button butterfly closure and on this one I used a box clasp and I do have some of these box clasps if you want one. Otherwise these are beads that came in the treasure bag and you should be able to do that if you got the treasure bag. If not you can go ahead and do this project anyway because these are very common sizes and shapes of beads and you can do this quite simply by just going into your stash. So let me get you close so you can see. On this one I used a four millimeter round bead in multicolored crackle glass and then I put a butterfly bead at the end of it and a closure. You can also use a button this way. It'll work just fine. Then on this one I did four by three rondelles and I just alternated the colors on each unit and I used a box clasp. Both turn out really pretty, very wearable, very stackable, and they're just adorable. You could do it with glass pearls, whatever you would like, and make just a plethora of them to stack up on your arm. So that is what we're going to do, and let's go ahead and look and see what it takes to do this project. Okay, for this project today, we will be using some of the beads that were found in the Spring Palette treasure bag. However, these are very common sized beads, and this is a very simple process that can be adapted to any beads that you have in your stash already. You can use a three by or a four by three rondelle, or you can use a four millimeter round for this. You could possibly even go up to a six millimeter round and make a bolder bracelet if you would like. The technique and the beads should be very easy to adapt to this particular pattern. So what we're going to be using from the Spring Palette treasure bag are the 4x3 rondelles that you have. You have pink and you have a light turquoise blue and we'll be using those. And we have enough in this bag where you could make several of these bracelets because they will be very stackable. So then I am using some Toho seed beads and I'm going to be using an 11 in Montana Gold and I'm going to be using an 8 in Galvanized Permanent Finish Starlight. And like I said, both are Toho. Then, for the first one that I show you, I'm going to show you a couple ways to clasp this. I'm going to be adding a box clasp. You can use any clasping you like. You can use a lobster claw, it will re work really well for stackable. These little box clasps will also work really well for stackable bracelets. This is a CZ box clasp. And then, <clears throat> I'm going to also show you how to clasp with these little butterfly beads that we have in our treasure bag. So it's a little butterfly that comes, that the hole comes up through the center so we can make kind of a button closure on this. You can also use a small button with two holes and instead of just going up through the one and putting a seed bead on like I show you and go back through, you can just sew through both holes or you can use one of these little cup beads, these little check cup beads. They um, work really well too and you will do the same thing, just sew through both holes instead of one. So those are options and like I said, you can use any clasping you want. You can also use a toggle. You just have to sew up through it the same way I show you how to sew through your box clasp. And then I'm going to be using some six pound fire line. This is the thermally fused tough fire line. Works really well. It's a lot like nanofill. And so I'm going to be using that and I'm going to be using a size 12 beading needle. You can also use a size 10 beading needle. That'll work just fine for this project. So 
The first thing you're going to do is you're going to put a wingspan of thread onto your needle. That's when you stretch your arms out to your side. Like you're going to fly away, measure from the fingertips on the first hand, the length of that arm across your chest, the length of the second arm to your fingertips on that second arm. And that is a wingspan of thread. Go ahead and thread your needle with a wingspan and we'll be back. Okay, to start this project, we are going to pick up a rondelle onto our needle. And I'm going to start with my pink rondelles and I'm going to alternate my colors through this particular pattern that I'm doing. You can do this all with one color, you don't have to use two, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up my pink one first and then I'm going to pick up an 8 and then I'm going to pick up a blue rondelle. And then an 8 -0. And then, let's get you closer, rearrange the camera slightly, and we're just going to draw these beads down to the end of the thread. You don't have to leave a long tail, but you do need to leave a couple of inches to tie a knot with. Then you're just going to go back up through that first bead, and just the first bead. Hold on to that bead, hold on to the tail, and pull your thread through just like this. You draw your beads together until they look like this. Let's get just a tiny bit closer and we are now going to sew through all of these beads until we get to where our working thread meets where the tail thread is. So just come from the rondelle into the 8-0, hold on to your beads and pull just slightly and then go through the rondelle Hold on to your beads. This will help keep you from pulling your thread through the beads until we secure it. Then we're going to go through the next 8-0. And here I'm going to give a little tug. I tug the tail a little bit. And now I'm going to take my working thread and my tail and tie a knot. So I'm going to cross my working thread over the tail and then I'm going to pass the tail through the loop that I got from crossing my threads twice. So put it through one more time. And then pull. This is just a little surgeon's knot and we want to pull it tightly between the beads so that it's tight on that thread bridge and it doesn't um, slide through your beads as we start to sew again. Now we want to sew into, let me get you closer, we want to sew into the 8 that's next to where our thread is coming out because it's on the thread bridge at this point. Go into the 8 and then go into the next rondelle and then go into the next 8 right here. Now, at this point, we want to put our clasping on. So, I'm going to use my little box clasp and I'm going to sew up through it, up through the loop, just like you would any clasping you want to use. So if you have a lobster claw, if you have a toggle, whatever you have, you're going to do the same process. You'll just sew through that loop instead of a box clasp. So, I'm going to pick up an 11-0 and then I'm going to pick up an 8-0. And I'm going to drop these down to my piece just like this. And then I'm going to go up through the loop of my clasp. And just bring it down to that 8 -0. And then I'm going to go through the 8 -0. And just the 8 -0, I'm going to hold on to it and draw my thread through. until I draw that clasp down to the 8 and the 11-0. Let me move this down here. And now we are going to do the other side. So we need to pick up another 11 and anchor it to the other side of the bead we're coming out of. So we started on that side. We're now going to go through this side. Hold on to your little piece and pull your thread through. And this is what you should have, just like this. Now, I am going to back off just a little and I'm going to sew through all of these beads. I'm going to pick up my clasp and I'm then going to go from this 8 that I'm coming out of 
into the 11O on the side I'm coming out and I will also go into the 8O under it and then I will go through the clasp just like this. Pull my thread through and then I'm going to go down back into the 8O and underneath the clasping here and then back into the 11O on the other side just like this. Hold on to everything these little box clasps are heavy so it's kind of clumsy to do this at first. And then I'm going to go into the 8O here. And now that I have that secure once, I'm going to do it one more time at least. You can do it two more times if you would like. You're just going to sew back up just like I showed you through the entire clasping and come back down through your 8O. Do that one or two more times. You want at least three passes of thread through your clasping and we'll be back. Okay, so now you can see I have secured my clasping by going through it again and now I'm just going to cut this little tail thread down a little bit and then I'm going to take my lighter you can use a thread zapper too and if you use a thread zapper you don't have to do this part but I'm just going to get my flame close and just gently roll that piece of extra thread down just like that. Now I am going to, I'm coming out of the 8O after doing my clasping, I am going to go up through the rondelle next to where I'm at, right here. And then I'm going to pull my thread through and I am ready to start continuing with my unit here. So I'm going to pick up three 11 o seed beads onto my needle and then I'm going to pick up a rondelle and because I'm coming out of a pink one I'm going to pick up a blue one that will alternate my colors so this is what I have so far and then I'm going to pick up an 8O and then I'm going to pick up a pink rondelle and then another 8O just like this now I'm going to drop this down to my piece <clears throat> Now we need to come back through the first rondelle we put on and only the rondelle. Because these beads are loose on here, you'll just want to try to hold on to them the best you can and then just come up through the bottom of that first rondelle. So I am going to grab a hold of my rondelle here. Sorry, this is all wobbly. Once we get a unit or two, it's fine. I'm just going to hold on to the first rondelle just like this between my fingers and then I'm going to come back through just the rondelle, just like this, and I'm coming through the clasp side, so I'm going through the bottom of it. And I'm going to pull these beads down into a circle, like this. Now I'm just going to flip them over, and then I'm going to tighten my thread. So you just have to kind of push on that rondelle, tighten the thread, and then we're going to sew back through all of these beads. So we're going to go through this 8O. Then we're going to go through the rondelle here. Then we're going to go through this 8O here. And I'm just holding on to everything the best I can. The first unit is a little tricky, it gets a little easier. Now, when I get here, I've pulled on my thread a little bit so that I can draw this, this rondelle close to those 11 O's. You don't want a gap there, so you just have to pull your thread before you go through your next rondelle and get it down where it should be. Then go back up through the rondelle. And this is what it looks like just like this. If it slips back up, pull it back down so that it stays by the 11 O's. And then we're going to go through this 8 and this rondelle and then once we're through the rondelle we can attach the other half of our unit. So we're going to go through the 8 here and then we're going to go down through this rondelle right here. I'm holding on to it so that I don't mess everything up and then I'm going to pick up three 11 O seed beads just like this.
then I'm going to go back up into this rondelle here so it attaches the other side of my unit. So just up into the rondelle, I'm going to hold on to it, bring my beads up, and this is what your little unit will look like once we tighten it. It'll be really cute. So now I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to, I'm coming out of this rondelle here, I'm going to go into the 8 I attached my clasping to here. And then I'm going to go back down through all the beads on this side. So I'm coming out of the rondelle. I go into the rondelle on this side, all three of the 11 O's, and this rondelle also. Pull my thread through. And then into the 8 O. Make sure everything is nice and tight and looks good, and this is what you should have. Now, we're going to do our next unit, and as I said, working through, it'll get a little bit easier. The first one is kind of fumbly. And so what we're going to do now <clears throat> is I'm going to do another little rondelle unit that I can work my 11 O's through for my next unit. So I am next to coming out where my pink bead is, so I'm going to pick up a blue one. If you're coming out of the 8 and it's closest to a pink, then pick up the blue. Or you can use all one color and not worry about it. Now, I am going to pick up an 8 seed bead and then a pink rondelle. I'm going to drop these down and then go through the 8 seed bead right here that we're attaching to. Pull this tight. So that it looks like this, and then I'm going to sew through the entire thing. So I'll go through the rondelle here. If it loosens up, that's okay. As you pull your thread through, you can tighten it. Then we're going to go through the 8 here. I'm just sewing through the beads all the way around and get back to my 80. And I'm sorry, I know I keep dropping it. The the clasp is a little heavy. And so it wants to draw my beads down out of my hand. Now I've just sewn around it and I am going to then sew up to this 80 again. So I'm through the attaching 80 seed bead. I'm going to come into the rondelle here. And then I am going to go into the 8 again. Excuse me, I'm not going to go into the 8 We want to be coming out of a rondelle, just like this. So come into your rondelle and then pick up three 11 seed beads. And then we are going to pick up, since we're coming out of a blue rondelle, we're going to pick up a pink rondelle. Then we're going to pick up an 8 seed bead, then we're going to pick up a blue rondelle and an 8 seed bead and drop them down. And this is what you should have on your thread, three 11 O's, a rondelle, an 8 a rondelle, and an 8 Then we're going to pick this up. It's a little easier now that I have a little bit more to work with. I'm going to hold on to this first rondelle and then I'm going to come through the opposite side that my thread is coming out, just like this. I'm just going to hold on to that one rondelle and I'm going to pull these beads around and give a little tug and guide them into place, just like this. So as you come through the opposite side of that bead, it'll wrap these into a little uh, unit for you. And then you're going to come up through the 8 on this side. Then you're going to come through the rondelle here. Now I like to sew through the entire unit again just to make sure everything is going to be nice and neat. So I'm going to go ahead and strong. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this 8 And then I'm going to go through the pink rondelle again. And then I'm going to go through the 8 here and then into this rondelle. And now I am positioned to where I can pick up my next three 11 O's and finish my unit. So I will pick up three 11 O's 
And then I will go into the rondelle opposite the one I'm coming out of, just like this, and pull these down like that. Then I will go back into this 8 seed bead here, the one that I've attached to, and then I'm going to sew down all of these beads on this side. So I'll go into the rondelle, I'll go into the 311 O's, and then I will go into the rondelle beneath it, just like that. Just make sure you don't miss any of your beads as you sew through, and then give a little tug and go through the 8 -o. And we have our second unit. To make our third, we need to make another little set like this and then work through it. So we're going to pick up, we're coming out towards the blue bead, so I'm going to pick up a pink bead. And then I'm going to pick up an, an 8 -o seed bead, and then I'm going to pick up a blue bead. So we'll just make our little unit here by going through the 8 seed bead. Go through the opposite side that you're coming out of, pull these beads down, and now we have the beginning of our next unit. We need to sew through it to secure it, so just go through the rondelle, go through the 8 here, go through the rondelle on this side, and then go through the 8 here. Now we need to go through this rondelle, just the one here. We're not going to go back down to that 8 -oh, just leave the 8 -oh hanging there all by him little self. And then we're going to pick up three 11 -oh seed beads. We're going to then pick up a rondelle. I'm coming out of a pink, so I'm going to pick up a blue. Pick up a rondelle, then pick up an 8 -oh, and then pick up my other color of rondelle and an 8 -o. This is what you should have, just like this. Then I'm just going to drop this down to my piece, straighten it back out, and then I'm going to hold on to this first rondelle, and I'm just going to come back through the bottom of it. Oops. just like this. I'm going to hold it, hold the rondelle, and then I'm going to slide my beads up and around. Now, if it moves away from your piece like this, that's okay. Just pull on your thread and push the bead down, just like that, until it is right next to the 11 O's, just like this. And now you can see my unit is over to the side. I can just flip it over like this and I can then go through this 8 -oh seed bead here. Now you can sew through this again if you would like or you can just attach your 11 O's. I like to make sure that all my units are tight and strong and I'm using crystal I don't want to cut my thread so I'm just going to go through the entire unit again. So I'm going from the 8 -oh into the rondelle and then I'm going to go into this 8 -oh here and up through the rondelle here, and then into the 8 -oh again, down through the rondelle here. Now I can pick up three 11 -oh seed beads on my needle like this, and then go directly down into this rondelle here. So the one just across from where you're coming out of your opposite unit and pull this down. This will draw your unit together just like this. You have these cute little 8 -oh buttons in the middle and then you have your walls with your 311 O's. Then you're going to go into this 8 -oh seed bead here, the connecting one. You're coming out of the rondelle go into the 8 -oh. and now I have a knot in my thread. Let me fix that. There we go. And then we're going to go up into all the beads on this side to secure this and get to the top of the unit. So go through all of these beads here, 
hold on to it, pull your thread through, and go through the 8-0 here. Let's do one more unit, and then we will go to length. So we're going to pick up, now that we're coming out of the 8-0, we're going to pick up another rondelle. I have a pink one here, so I'm going to pick up a blue one. And then I'm going to pick up an 8-0 seed bead, and then I'm going to pick up a pink rondelle, just like this. And I'm going to go through the other side of the rondelle, or of the 8-0 seed bead, just like this. Pull this down, and then I'm going to arrange everything so I can sew through this again. So now I'll go through the rondelle here, and then into the 8-0 here, and then into the rondelle here, and back into the 8-0. Now it's secure. I am going to go into the rondelle closest to where my thread's coming out, straight down here, and I can begin to make the extension to make my next unit. So I'm going to pick up the 3110 seed beads, and then I'm going to pick up, I'm coming out of blue, so I'm going to pick up a pink rondelle, and then I'm going to pick up an 80, and then I'm going to pick up a blue rondelle, and an 80. This is what you have on your needle, just like this. We're going to drop this down to the piece, come back through the first rondelle. So just arrange it to where you can hold on to that rondelle. Go up through the bottom of it. So you're going to go through the opposite side from which you're coming out. So your thread is coming out there. You're going to go into the opposite side. Very important. Then you're going to pull your thread through and this will wrap these beads into a little circle like this. Now, like I said, if it slides up, just hold on to that bead and pull your thread until the unit is down to the 311 O's. As you work it, you have more to hold on to and it's easier to do. Then we're going to go through this 80 here and secure this unit. So go through the rondelle on this side, go through the middle 80 go through the rondelle here, back up into the 80. We're secure now. We're going to go down into this rondelle here, and we're going to pick up three 11 seed beads. <clears throat> and go directly into the rondelle right across, just like this and pull these beads down. Then we're going to sew into the connecting 80 seed bead here. And we're going to sew through all the beads on this side. Just like this. And then up through the 80. And now you can see how this is going to look. Let me get you real close and you can see how cute the little units are. It's like that. So now we're going to continue doing these units until we have 11 units. So I have made 11 units. You just count from the center. Each little square is a unit. One, two, three, and so on. This is completely contingent upon the length of bracelet you want, and it's also going to depend upon the size of your clasping. Because my box clasp is fairly small, I do not leave, need to leave a lot of length. So this is six and three quarter inches in length from the top of my clasping, and I will end up with about a seven inch bracelet once I put the other end on. Now, if you have a bigger toggle or you're using even a smaller clasp, like a uh, lobster claw clasp, you'll have to take that into consideration with the length of your bracelet. That being said, we're going to move on to putting the other end of the clasp on. Now, with this box clasp, I just take out the 
other end and this has a jump ring on it. I'm going to leave the jump ring on because these particular clasps are welded, the jump rings are welded shut. So it's a closed jump ring. So I don't have to worry about my thread falling through. If you have one that has an open jump ring on it, take it off and just sew through the loop of the clasping. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this so that it is the proper direction to go back into my um, clasping. So let me make sure nothing's twisted. And then I'm going to get close here. This is in the right direction here. And I'm going to pick up an 11-0 and an 8-0. And I'm going to drop it down to my piece, just like that. Then I'm going to pick up my little clasp and I'm going to go through the jump ring just like this and bring it down and arrange it and then I'm going to go back into the 80 seed bead and just the 80 so I'll pick it up make sure I don't have that 110 get off there and then I'm just going to go pull my thread through and go through that 80 and draw my clasping down to it just like this and then I'm going to pick up an 11 0 and go into the other side of the 80 I'm attaching to right here I'm going to pick it up and draw my thread through And this is what I have. And I'll just sew back through this a couple of times to secure it, just like we did on the other end. Once you have done that, we'll be back and we'll tie it off. And I will show you how to make a bracelet. With um, the four millimeter rounds that are in the bag, you can use any ones that you'd like. You can use more rondelles, it doesn't matter. I'll show you how to use these and how to put on the butterfly for your clasp. Okay, so now I have secured my clasping, and as you can see, it lays nice and neat. It's very pretty, looks nice on there. And now I'm coming out of the 80 after sewing through a couple of times to secure my clasping, and I'm going to go up into to this rondelle, the 311 and the next rondelle in my unit closest to my clasping here. And I'm just gonna pull that thread through. Now I am going to, I'm coming out right here where this rondelle is, right between the 80 and the rondelle, there is a thread bridge. We're going to go under that thread bridge. So you can see that there's little threads coming out between. We're going to go under that thread bridge and pull the needle. Keep your thread right between those beads. Make a loop. Go through the loop with your needle and pull a knot down. And then go through the 80 seed bead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then, once we've gone through that 80, we can go down the beads here on the next unit. And pull your thread through, and then go underneath the thread bridge between this rondelle and this 80 here. Make a little loop, and go through the loop, and pull down, just like that. And then go up through the 80 seed bead. Then I'm going to go down into these here, and you can tie off as many times as you'd like, and then sew a little bit away from your last knot, and then I'm just going to cut this down pretty short, and then I'm going to grab a hold of that little extra piece here and pull it out. And I'm going to, again, get my flame close to it. Don't light it on fire, just get it close. And roll your thread into the beads, just like that. I hope I was in frame, I was awfully close there. And this is what my little bracelet looks like. And let's see how it goes on. See if I can do this one-handed. I'll show you in a second. I know there's nothing in frame, I'm sorry but I'm going to see if I can get this on and then I will show you what it looks like. Okay, 
yeah, I got it on. And it is a perfect seven inch because my, um, that's what I wear well. So I have movement. It looks really pretty. It's nice and dainty and cute. And we'll be back and start the next project. For this next bracelet, I'm going to be using the four millimeter round strand of translucent crackle beads that you got in your treasure bag. You can use any four millimeter round for this or you can use your four by threes and put the clasping on the way I'm going to show you with those also. I'm still going to be using the 80 and 11 that I used in my previous bracelet and I'm going to use the butterfly bead that um, comes in your treasure bag. You can use anything that's drilled up through the top you could use a flower bead or you can use a button like this and you'll just have to go through both holes instead of just up through the center like I show you. I go up through the center and put 11 -0. On this you wouldn't put 11 -0. You just go back down through the other hole. So what we're going to do is we are going to do the same unit we did before. We're going to pick up a four millimeter round, an 80, a four millimeter round, and I'm just picking up my colors randomly this time. Since this is a multicolor strand, I'm just going to pick them up random randomly. So I've got my four millimeter round, 80, four millimeter round, 80, and I'm going to bring it to the end of the thread. And same as before, just leave enough to tie a knot and go through the first bead and just the first bead, hold on to your tail and that first bead and pull your unit around like this. Then we're going to sew until our working thread and our tail thread meet. So go through the 80, go through the next four millimeter round, holding on to your beads so you don't pull your thread through. And then we're going to go through the next 80. Now, you're going to grab your tail thread and your working thread and cross them and then bring your tail thread through the hole twice just like we did before to make a surgeon's knot. Pull that knot down between the beads, make sure it's tight so it doesn't slide around as we do our next step. Now, this is what we have and we're going to sew up into the next bead. So we are right where our um, thread comes out of the knot. So we're going to go up into this 80 and then we're going to go up into this four millimeter round here and then we're going to go into the 80 opposite from where the tail is right here. And then we are going to put on our clasping here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up an 11 0 seed bead and drop it down to our piece. <clears throat> then you're going to pick up your butterfly or whatever you're using, your button, whatever, go up through the center of it just like this. Drop it down and then pick up an 11 0 seed bead and drop it down. So your 11 is right on top of that butterfly. Go back down into the butterfly, ignoring the 11 you just dropped down. Let's get just a tiny bit closer. I'm going to hold on to all of this and I'm just going to pull my thread through. Now, hold on to the butterfly and pull your working thread until everything is close to everything else. So you want your butterfly and your 11 -0 right down to that 8 -0 we're attaching to. Now you're going to pick up another 11 -0. and under here, see if I can pick this up so you can see it, we're going to go into the side of the 8 -0 that we haven't gone through yet. So just go through that 8 -0 right here, ignoring the 11 -0 and the butterfly and all that, and then pull this down or pull the thread through like this. Now this is what you have, little 11 O's on top of the 8 O attaching to the butterfly. Now you're going to go back down into the 11 O, so we're coming out of the 8 O, you're going to go into this 11 O on this side and up through the butterfly just like this. Now 
Then you're going to go into that 11 O seed bead, back down through the butterfly, and into the other 11 O on the other side here, just like this. And then back into the 8 O you're attaching to. Do that at least one more time, two if you feel like you need to, and we'll be back. Okay, so now I have secured my butterfly onto my first little unit here by sewing through it again, and I am coming out of the 8 seed bead right underneath the butterfly. I'm going to go up into the 4 millimeter round bead here and pull my thread through. And then we are going to pick up four 11 O seed beads onto our needle, or three, excuse me, three 11 O seed beads, and then we're going to pick up a four millimeter round. Now I'm just going to pick up my four millimeter rounds in any order as far as the color goes. I'm just going to do them randomly. So I picked up three 11 O's, a four millimeter round, an eight O seed bead, and then another four millimeter round, and then another eight O seed bead, just like this going to drop it down and then I am going to pick up all of my little piece here and kind of balance it on my finger and I need to go back through this first four millimeter round so I'm just holding on to it I'm going to go back through it through the bottom side of it so the opposite side from which the thread is coming through it and then I am going to pull this down tighten my thread and move the unit over to the 11 O seed beads. Make sure it's tight and you just hold on to that four millimeter round and pull your thread and that will move it down. Then I'm going to flip it over. Sometimes when you go through it goes into proper position. Sometimes it flips over. If it flips over you just have to flip it back and then have it aligned with the other four millimeter round on this side. Then you're going to go up through the 8 seed bead here. I like to secure this entire unit, so I'm just going to sew through the whole thing. I'm going to go through this 4 millimeter round here now, and then I'm going to go through the 8 in the center here. And then I'm going to go through the 4 millimeter round here and work my way back down to the rondelle on the other side. So I'll go through the 8 here and into this rondelle here. It's exactly the same thing we did at the beginning of the tutorial. Nothing different, just different beads and different clasping. That's, that's all. So we're going to pick up three 11 O seed beads now and we're going to go up into this rondelle here straight up into this one just like this and pull through pull your unit together and then sew through the 8 under the butterfly here and I'm going to get you just a little closer for a second you're going to sew through that 8 then you're going to sew down into the rondelle next to where you're coming out of the 8 the three 11 O's underneath, which is a four millimeter round, not the rondelle, sorry. You're going to go through the four millimeter round, the three 11 O's, the four millimeter round underneath the 11 O's, and then you're going to go into this 8 O seed bead, and you're going to begin again by picking up a four millimeter round, an 8 O, and a four millimeter or excuse me, a four millimeter round, an eight o, and a four millimeter round, just like this. And then you're going to go into the opposite side of the eight o you're coming out of. You're going to secure this by sewing through it again and just begin making your units exactly like we did in the last tutorial. I'm not going to go through it again because it's the same thing. So you can just watch that and continue with your bracelet until you have 
length and then I will show you how to finish your clasping. So we're going to go all the way around and now I'm coming out of the rondelle here after securing. So all I have to do is um, put my three little 11 0 seed beads on and make my next unit and then attach it so through and make my next unit just like we did before. This is what it looks like to start with and you're going to continue until you have 11 units. And because these beads are a little bit bigger, we can make it the same size as the other, even though our clasping is going to be a little bit different. So you'll always take your clasping into consideration, just like I discussed already in the tutorial earlier, and then you will go from there to put on your clasping. So I've made my 11 units, and I'm coming out of my 80 seed bead here. Let's get you close. Now what I want to do is I want to sew through this entire unit one more time before I put my clasping on just because this end unit is going to get some stress from the clasping. So I'm coming out of this 8 -0. I'm going to go down into the 4 millimeter round and the 3 11 0s beneath it and then into the 4 millimeter round under the 11 0s and pull my thread through. And then I'm going to go through this 8 0 seed bead here. And then I'm going to go up through the beads on this side of the unit. All of the beads, just like this. And then I'm going to pull through and go into this 8 0 seed bead. Now I am going to pick up a series of 11 O's and make a loop. So depending upon what you're using for your um, clasping you will need to pick up a certain amount of beads so let me see what I can pick up here I'm just going to scoop a whole bunch of 11 O's onto my needle until I think I have about enough and I can count and tell you for the butterfly but for um, all the rest of your if you're using something different you're going to have to test it so I've dropped these down. Let's see how many I have. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I have 19 beads on here. And then I'm just going to slide back through. Now I may have to put on more or less, but I'm going to slide through this 8 0 seed bead here and make a loop. And I can test it and see if it'll go around my butterfly okay. So I'm going to hold this and I'm going to wrap it around my finger and hold it tight so the beads don't slide and give me a false yes or no here. Let's see if I can get this tightened. Okay. Now I'm going to slide my butterfly through this and see if it fits. And it does. So I'm going to go ahead and go with 19 beads. I actually think I might take one off. Eh, no, it's good. I'm just going to leave it. I've got 19 beads on here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew back through the entire thing and you're going to do it a couple of times but I'll show you once here. So you're coming out of your 8-0 after you've tested how many beads you need you will start to sew up through all the beads again. So just take as many as you can, pull through, where you ended you begin again into the next bead and go as many as you can make sure you don't miss any of the beads because then your loop will be all weird so just go through all of them until you come back to your 80 and slide back through it arrange them nicely and then sew through them again do that once or twice more and we'll be back and we'll tie this off Okay, so I have sewn through two more times, securing my loop for my clasping. You want to make sure as you pull it, you don't pull it so tight that they bunch up, but instead they lay nice and neat in a pretty little circle like this. And then you'll be coming out of your 8 0 seed bead after you make your last pass through. Then you're going to go into this 4 millimeter round, and you're going to go through the three 11 0 seed beads on this side just like this. Now you can go through the four millimeter round also but I was having difficulty so I just exited. Now I'm going to go into this four millimeter round right underneath. 
and right here on the thread bridge just like I showed you before you're going to go underneath these threads that go between the 80 and the four millimeter round where they connect here and you're going to pull your thread into a loop and then go through that loop and then pull your knot down onto that thread bridge and then we're going to go into this 80 seed bead here and we're going to sew down into the next unit so we'll go down through the four millimeter round the three eleven O's the four millimeter round underneath it and again on this little thread bridge here you're going to go underneath it make a loop in your thread and pull a knot down. Go into the next 80 and the next unit and we'll cut our thread off. So I'm going to cut it off here. Grab that little piece, grab my lighter, get the heat close and roll that little guy down into the beads. Now, this is what I have. Now let's see if it's going to go on to my wrist well. So I'm just going to slide that butterfly through the loop here. Maybe. You know, you just never know. <laughs> One-handed, you know, it's kind of hard. There we go. All right, so now this works really well. So I've got my little butterfly clasp here. It's a tiny little clasp. It'll work well if you're going to make several of these to stack. This little closure works really nice, as well as the box clasp works really nice too because they'll all lay next to each other nice. Toggles are a little bit bulkier to stack with, but this turned out really cute, and so did this one and you can use all kinds of different combinations of beads to do this with. You can use, probably you could make a unit of four millimeter round and then a unit of four by threes. You could do all different colors. With this one, to make it really stackable, I would do another bracelet all in this blue and another bracelet all in the pink and wear all three of them together with this one in the middle. That would be really cute you have enough beads on these strands to do that so you should be able to do that and then we've got this pretty little guy here and let me get them centered so you can see them nice I'll zoom in so you can get one good look at the finished product and then we will be done that's what they look like cute little things let's look at the units closer okay so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.